In the last hours of dark, this young male lion took down a buffalo calf. An impressive feat for a two-year-old. And unusual too. Lions generally hunt as a well-organized team. He was forced to leave his pride and search for a territory of his own. Now he's proved he has what it takes to survive. But his success wasn't entirely due to skill. The winter drought has left the buffalo weak and susceptible to predation, making them easier targets. While his future is secure for now, not far off, his mother is facing more of a struggle. She's raising a new litter of cubs. At six weeks old, they have just left the safety of their den and are totally reliant on her rich milk for sustenance. Feeding four hungry cubs is taxing on her energy reserves. But if she wants to eat, she's going to have to leave them to hunt for herself. Because unlike most lionesses who can rely on their pride to bring them food while they're nursing, she's a single mother and has no such help. Her pride split up recently. The young adult male lions from her last litter were forced by their father to move off and find territories of their own. The big male then departed to patrol his range, which is roughly 40 square miles of prime hunting ground. It will take him several days or longer to make the round trip. Without him around, his adult daughter has struck out on her own. leaving the lioness to fend for herself and her vulnerable cubs. She's still producing milk for now and keeps her cubs within the safety of dense bush thickets. But she'll have to eat soon, and to do that, she'll have to leave her babies alone. The lioness is on the move. She has decided to relocate to avoid drawing attention to her cubs by remaining in the same place for too long. A small mud hole contains just enough water for a brief respite. It's welcome refreshment for the thirsty mother. The cubs join her in drinking deeply, although at this age they still get most of their moisture from milk. In a few months, she'll wean them, and by a year and a half, they'll have to look after themselves. Now, in the early stages of life, 
they rely on the leadership of the lioness, knowing little of the challenges she's facing at the moment. In the lion's territory, the cub's father arrives back from his sojourn. He announces his presence with a bellowing roar, which can be heard for up to five miles. His return bodes well for the lioness and her cubs, who have struggled without the support of a strong leader. The lioness hears his call from a distance and heads towards it. After a moment, the cubs realize they had better catch up. Mum leads the way, joined by her adult daughter, who has also returned for the reunion. For the cubs, it feels like any other afternoon, to be filled with raucous rough and tumble. But their father is still several miles away. Mum keeps the train moving. They don't know it yet, but this is a significant moment in their young lives, as they have never met their father, who left when they were still in the den. On arrival, the cubs wait cautiously at a distance. For mother and daughter, the meeting is an affectionate moment and a long-awaited revival of their pride. The cubs are intrigued by their father. They've not yet learnt how to act around the big male. And his rebuke is as gentle as he can manage. For the first time since the cubs were born almost two months ago, the pride is together again.
Things are looking up for this family of Africa's most powerful predators.